y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan and I've actually picked up a brand new Zamp racing helmet. So we've got the car all prepped and ready to go. So now we're going to be focused on safety. And so I wanted to go ahead and pick up my own helmet in preparation for the track day just because you can rent one from the track but I don't want somebody's sweaty, nasty, lacy <laughs> head that I want to be sharing. So I went ahead and picked up this is a Snell approved SA2020 helmet, so it should be good for a while. But just like with everything I do, I can't leave well enough alone. So we got to throw a little chaos style at it today. So we're going to be getting into some arts and crafts. What we have here is the Zamp Racing, it's the RZ59 style helmet, and it's actually Snell SA2020 approved. So I wanted something because I think when you hit the track, the minimum requirement is 2010 or above and you can actually find like 2010 2015 helmets cheaper but i wanted to be compliant for years to come so i'm just getting into racing now but my goal is for two track days per year so right now i'm a novice and that's why i didn't want to blow because helmets get expensive so you can blow a thousand dollars plus very easily on a helmet but this one comes in just a touch over 200 dollars but I think for an entry level helmet, it'll get me started. And with all the customizable features the Zamp offers, it should be good for years to come. I've also paired that with a set of the Alpine Stars Tech One Start gloves. For one, I just, gloves aren't required, but I feel like it would give me better feel. Plus, I also don't wanna mess up my brand new painted steering wheel from like the oils from my fingers. So I figured that would go a long way with protecting my actual paint job on my steering wheel. I've actually been wearing the helmet around the house, as crazy as it seems. But the reason I'm doing so is you don't want to end up in the car and have a helmet that just is aggravating you, like it's not something's not fitting right. So you kind of want to give it a good trial period, just kind of one, break it in, get used to it, get comfortable with it. So that way, come track day, yeah, you your helmet, you throw it on, and it's no concern whatsoever. The way that I would like to customize the helmet is I've gotten this like chaos stencil and I'm gonna apply that to the side and then we're gonna go with that chaos blue. I think that'll look really good on the matte gray. So we're gonna throw our stencil on there and then paint it up. And I think I'm gonna do it on both sides. I'm gonna start with one to begin with, see how I like that. But I'm probably gonna replicate it kind of around the jawline, do it on one side first and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna take what I learned from doing the one side with the paint pen and I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm actually gonna use a Sharpie as kind of my outline to begin with. And then I feel like that'll make it easier instead of trying to paint with the stencil up there, I'll trace the stencil first and then fill in the color. Well, now I've got a dilemma. I actually really like this. And in fact, I had I done this first instead of the paint pen, I would have just said, screw that completely. That's just way too messy and it runs and Sharpie's a whole lot easier, more precise and less messy as well. So had I known, I would have definitely started out with the Sharpie and just done, cause I mean, you can get colored Sharpies now. So I would have just done the other side completely blue and Sharpie, it would just been a lot easier. Cause I think right now just with a Sharpie, I think it looks really good, but I'm kind of torn. Yeah, do I fill these letters in blue? Do I fill them in black? I'm kind of just kind of digging the way it is, just the outline. And then, <laughs> so that's dilemma number one. And then we slide over here to our painted side. And I kind of, I mean, I really like this and the fact that it does look kind of runny and everything, like that doesn't bother me. It's kind of that chaos graffiti looking touch to it. So that's fine, but do I try to outline this side with like the black Sharpie? And obviously if I do that, there's gonna be 
some bleed through. So like if if I make the, the letters perfect, then there's gonna be like the blue outside of the lines, which I mean, that could look cool too. I don't really know what to do. I'm so torn. I've actually hit the drawing board and kind of replicated it on paper, just so that way maybe I could test out which version I like. So I've got a blue version, just like we have on our helmet right now. I didn't do the whole lettering, just cause that's a, that's a waste, but it's sloppy maybe even sloppier than on the helmet itself. And then I've got the nice clean outline version. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to fill this one in in black and just kind of hold it up against the helmet and see what I think. And then for the sloppy blue one, I'm gonna like outline in black and then hold, up, hold it up too against the helmet just to see what I think about the that version. <laughs> Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Didn't think this was gonna be that tough, but I just don't know. I mean, like, kind of looking at it up here, part of me really likes kind of the way it is, but then I also like the outline. So, I don't know. So looking at this side, I definitely think I wanna fill this one in, just cause I think it would make it a little bit easier to read and just, I don't know. I just kind of like it. First, I was just kind of digging just the plain outline, but yeah, we'll fill this one in and then I'm still undecided on the other side. Filled in with the black, much better. Nice subtle touch. Because before it wasn't bad just with the outline, but now I'm really sold. This side, I'm just not sure what to do with. I like it as is, so I'm just gonna leave it for now but drop a comment below if you think I should outline it or I mean I was thinking originally like outline in black but if you think something else that I could add to this side to kind of spruce it up a little bit just let me know another little custom touch I just threw our chaos car club the c3 logo I had the sticker made it was actually from my carbon fiber steering wheel for the z so I had this as my center horn button and I had extras, so this fits perfectly on the back of the helmet. I am very pleased on the way the helmet's turning out, though. Like I said, I just, I can't show up to the track plain. <laughs> That's no fun, so had to throw that little chaos style at it. I'm really hyped on the way this actually turned out. So looking at automotive helmets, I realized there's not as many choices. Like if you go and actually start looking at motorcycle helmets, they have all kinds of crazy graphics and everything. But for whatever reason, I guess maybe just cause there's not enough interest in automotive racing, but everything seems to be really plain. You get pretty much only white or black or a matte version of each. Um, I was lucky enough to find something a little different because again, my criteria was I wanted something up to safety spec. So with the SA 2020 rating, I should be good for a long time and not have to purchase another helmet anytime soon. So safety, price, because I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a helmet for something that, you know, I can't imagine myself not enjoying a track day, but I didn't want to drop a thousand dollars and then never touch the helmet again. But my goal for right now, about two track days a year and Hopefully I'll, if I get hooked, kind of increase from there. But yeah, I wanted safety, uh, pretty inexpensive. And then I wanted something to look good. So we had a good base with this matte gray, but I think putting my own little touch on it, took it to the next level. So I couldn't be more stoked. If you are in the market, I would check out Zamp Racing just because doing a little bit of research, looking around, they did seem to have pretty good reviews and everything and just bang for the buck, it didn't really seem like you could you could match their products. But I do wanna thank everybody for watching. If you will, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>